So we've just been back to the UK, which is a trip we have to do really often because we both still have jobs, which mean that we have to go back to London for work quite a lot. Um, and uh, it means that we've got quite savvy at nipping across the channel. So we're like very seasoned channel hoppers. Um, and we've realized that the only way to get across the channel um, really quickly and in a really stress-free way uh, is with the Eurotunnel. Um, which is now called uh, Le Shuttle. Um, it's been rebranded and it has a really cool logo you should definitely check out. Um, Le Shuttle has just been a dream for us because it means we can finish a day's work in the office in London and still make it to Chateau Trois Cloche in the evening um, and be snuggled up in bed, which means that we've got a full day of DIY that we can do without having to sort of lose half a day to traveling. Um, so it's been really, really fantastic for us. The people are lovely. It's been really easy for Bo and the whole process of checking in and stuff like that is just a dream and really easy. So we'll show you the whole process in a minute because we're just about to uh, pull up to the Eurotunnel now. I've done this journey so many times and I still get quite excited. Um, um, and I don't know, just every time I'm sort of like, oh, we're going to France. There's the new logo, the new Le Shuttle logo. Yeah, so we're just coming up to the check-in place and it's really super easy. You just kind of go up to the booth and um, sometimes it even recognises your number plate. Otherwise, you just have to put in your reference number and then you're good to go. It looks like it's quite quiet today, which is always nice. Now, which one should we go for? You can either have a little person in one of the booths help you out or you can just do it with the computer which we found it's quite easy just doing it with the computer and as it has it's just uh, recognised our number plate so we don't even have to put in a reference number. Sometimes you do but this time we've been lucky. Go to the pet, pet reception. Um, and then we get a little lanyard to put on our wing mirror which which just shows that we have a doggy and what our reference number is there you go oh, it's even got a little picture of a paw print how cute and then we're off yeah so this is the over to the right is the terminal and it's got loads of nice restaurants and bars. Well, it's got things like everything you'd need, really. It's got a Burger King, it's got Starbucks. I think it's got, what else has it got? Like a nice little restaurant. Um, but also importantly, it has the pet reception, which is where we're going now to get Bo checked in and ready to go.
So we don't have time to go to the pet exercise area today, but it's really good fun and it's quite cool and one that we often do. Um, also in the Le Shuttle um, terminal, there's loads of duty free shops, which are great. So there's like a Burger King and duty free. Um, and yeah, we love to sort of pick up some little bits and pieces from there when we've got time. On another time, we'll get some footage of that for you. So we've just been through British passport control and now we're waiting at the security point and any second now we should be waved through to the French passport because they have both the French and the UK passport control on the, uh, <laughs> on the England side. So Eurotunnel have been really generous and have given us um, a few tickets in exchange for producing this video which I should be totally upfront and honest about. But this does not change in any way our view that it is the best way to travel across to France. It's just so quick and it's so flexible and so easy. Um, it's just a dream and I genuinely, genuinely mean that. Um, and so yeah, it won't be long until we get through and head down onto the train and then in no time at all, well I think it's 30 minutes, um, we'll be in France. We've actually just been through the French passport control and We've pulled up and amazingly, we're able to get straight on a train, which is incredible. Look at this. <laughs> Just practicing for the French side.
I've actually forgotten what it's like to drive in England because I do all my driving in France now. So I can often be found driving up the wrong way of that motorway or local roads in London. People beeping and I'm waving back merrily as I go. Anyway, here we are. A Calais! We're on the right track when we see the signs to Paris. And from here, it's literally to Chateau Trois Cloches, it's literally two hours, 20 minutes, which is incredible, really. And usually the roads are completely clear, completely empty, and you just fly by. So I always love traveling on the Eurotunnel because it always reminds me of all the nice places we've been to through the Eurotunnel. We've been to Rouen, which was stunning. We've been to Mont Saint-Michel, which is just insane. Like, you have to visit. It's a bit further but it's really is something special. And on Fleur and Deauville, anyway, so many places. I always get very excited um, going on the shuttle. But, but this time we're just going home to Chateau Trois Cloches and from here it's only two hours, 20 minutes, which is incredible really. And all the roads are like this, just straight, flat, no traffic. Um, otherwise it's very easy. And it's now 20 past 10 at night and it's still daylight which is great. One other clever little hack we found with travelling lots to France with uh, the shuttle is um, this little tag on the windscreen which you stick to it and you pay like um, basically like a direct debit so every time you go through a toll road in France and the tag literally just lets you go flying through you don't have to stop and put your card in or climb over if you're travelling alone it just opens them up and then at the end of the month you get a bill. And I have to say, it does make you feel very VIP. When you're approaching the toll booths and you rock up to your little lane, it's great. You can just literally just power through and you're like kind of waving past everyone who's queuing up and fumbling for cash or change or card or the machines are working and we just go straight through. It's a real little win. So we're on the road now and it's only two hours, 20 minutes till we get there and we just like to whack on some music or put on a podcast and we'll see you when we get there. So if you made it all the way to the end of the video, well done, congratulations, and thank you. Um, but you could do something else for us. Yeah, it'd be really amazing if you could click like down below. It's just a little button that looks like, I think it's like a bell. Uh, subscribe or share would be even better. That would be so good. Anyway, have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Bye. Bye.